sun hat. This is what is known as a sun hat. Ugh. I have not taken a shower today, mother. Are you disappointed? Are you sad? So, hi. So we're in a bang, hold on. <laughs> but it works, as long as there's no um, wind. This is what I'm gonna do now for it. I'm not gonna do this now. <clears throat> so, tonight's topic is lies and vicious rumors. So I, um, oh, I, I meant to start a Periscope the other day that is, um, and the, t the subject was lies, and then I didn't do it. <laughs> so it was a lie, unintentionally, but um, showers are for poor people. Huh. That's actually interesting. Well, they need showers. Um, yes, bang piece, yes, God. Tip of the hat to the bang piece. Covers up the forehead, which is really, um, uh, I think back in, um, well, not way back, back in like pilgrim times, uh, the forehead was like the, the forehead was the, I don't know, um, it was the way that the, the God, <laughs> I can't even finish that sentence, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm a little tired, okay, um, okay, so I, w I wanted to say something, um, so this is a, I don't want this to be super dramatic, but, um, I told kind of a lie, I, well, it wasn't really a lie, though, um, because, uh, and there's like a, it's almost not as not not interesting to say the whole story because it's kind of convoluted at this point. So I'll try to be as brief as possible. But uh, it is worth mentioning, and here because um, Twitter is just banging. That's right. Um, so I got. Um, so I was, as you guys know, I was on the season eight tour, and I was supposed to host it. But um, so we did the. I did the first night in Fort Lauderdale, and then. Um, so, so then I had, I kind of sort of, well, I made a mistake. I just wanted to skip the Q and A. And so I kind of like went off book a little bit. I flexed my muscles, you know, I did. I just like did what I thought was right as a host, as an, as a woman. And then the promoter was like, nope, that was really bad. Um, so uh, we had, we came kind of like, it didn't, we, have enough, we didn't have a fight, which was great because I think he wanted a fight and I wanted to screw them so that, like, I think nature has a way of, like, balancing energies, you know? Fight or screw, that's the response. Fight or flight. Fight or flight. Fight or flight into screwing. I don't know. So, um, no one cares exactly. But it, it is worth repeating because I know for a fact that some people do, uh, did express their disappointment. And even if it's just two people, girl, those ticket prices are not to be toyed with. They're not, they're no joke. So... Um, I apologize about that because, so I basically just, um, we both decided for me to leave the tour, whether you want to call that me, um, quitting or being fired. I suppose it's a matter of semantics and, well, pride and shame, of course. So it's, um, you know, is it a tumor? It, yeah, it is a tumor, um, but it's also benign. I want to refund, bitch. I, no, I can't give you a refund. I don't know what their policy is. Um, so, I, but I asked like three people with the, what, what should I do? What should, I was fired. I was, yeah, I was fired. They went, no, I, I mean, I was, but I was like, you know, and I can't convince, I realize now that I can't convince them or anybody that like, you want to fire me? Well, I quit. <laughs> um, because I wanted to. That tour schedule is so tough. It's abusive and I, and I really needed a break, so. I took a break. I got to actually take it. It was like th two days or a three day break. I'm not sure, but it was in this gorgeous, incredible, it was a spa, I guess. I mean, that's where we were staying for that night. And I just stayed there for um, two or three days. And it was uh, clothing optional, clothing optional. Nudity, darling, nudity, naked body, the male naked body. No girls allowed, catch it. Jasmine knows what I'm talking about because she helped me with my bags. Uh, back to the room, and she got kicked off the premises. But you're fired. She got fired from the men's, you know, clubhouse or whatever. Fired. Sorry, Jasmine, but that was kind of funny. Um, and she didn't uh, die driving four, four hours back to Trampa. So kudos you. So the, I just want to apologize for that. Does that make sense? Oh, I don't know. 
So I just got that out there, but I don't want to, the thing is I don't want to put any um, undue, uh, uh, whatever on um, the promoters, because you know, I don't know. It's not their fault. It's nobody's fault. It's God's fault. Um, oh, so I, I, I had to craft like a Hillary Clinton tweet. Ooh, Hillary Clinton tweet. I had to craft a diplomatic tweet that said that, no, no, no. Um, wiggle, wiggle, yeah. No, I, I just got, I didn't say anything. I was like, I should have said, oh, I'm not being at the, I'm not going to the show. I was, it was unclear. It was unclear, honey. Those tickets are fucking expensive. Um, so I forget what I said, but it, all the things that, see, the thing is that when I went, I, I looked at it and I was like, I, I, I looked at the tweet and I, you know, I was, I don't think that much before I tweet, obviously. Um, but I looked at it. I was like, is this right? Is this true? And then it's one of those things where it's like, well, it is, but not technically, but you know what I mean? It's like, it, it's so funny. Um, but, uh, I think the promoters probably think I'm crazy, which I am, darling. Um, but, uh, you know, that's the price of being a crazy person, I guess. So, um, lies and vicious rumors is obviously a reference to Jasmine Masters in season seven. Um, everything comes back to Jasmine in the same way that everything can come, can come back to money or power or sex. Because what does Jasmine represent? All of those things. But in a more dynamic way. That is nonsense. Um, All Stars is starting. I'm not excited because I have a million things to do. Tell me in the comments, what are you excited about from All Stars 2? Is it fun and flirty fashion? The fashion is certainly fun. It remains to be seen whether or not it will be flirty. Flirty. Is it drama? Is it cat, cat fights, dog fights? Is it, is it Michael Vick's house of dog fighting with drag queens? Is it tomfoolery, shenanigans, conflama, or riggery? Will you do? I'm excited for your crowning. Well, darling, if I pass a child, oh, speaking of crowning, I do never want, I never want to have kids. You're all kids, and I hate you. Just kidding. Um, who wants, here, raise your hand if you want to have kids. Raise your hand if you're even old enough to conceive of a future where you have to take care of somebody just like yourself. Mm. Somebody who's going to hate you. Not necessarily. Um, thank you. Do you think Willem should have been on it? Yes, Willem, um... I think, no, I don't as a competitor, I think, having learned about it, I don't think, um, I think Willem would have been too much of a competitor, so I'm glad he wasn't on it. And I told him that, and guess what he said to me? He said, what did you say? And he slapped me, but he thought I was talking about something else. Mm. You have three kids, no you do not. Um, children are like drugs, except you don't get high. Oh, I, this is, um, this is the thing. I don't like the expression, um, when you smoke weed, uh, you get high. Because I don't think that. Do you know what I mean? And I, I, I think that's just a not, a, not the right word. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, or I get stoned because I don't get like, you know, I don't get stoned. I don't like get immobilized or turn to stone or become less emotional. You know, I, that, those, so those two terms do not make sense to me. Can you, can you figure out a better one? My bow cut is a bang. You fucking, ugh, pay attention. Um, no, 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 I know. So high is like, ah, or, um, or, ah, bliss, right? But, um, it's not euphoric. It's not even, um, yeah, no, I smoke, I, I smoke the weed. Um, no, I do not smoke a lot. I don't smoke a lot. Maybe three, two, three puffs. I have not started watching Eric Andre yet. Oh, lifted? It's not lifted. I think it's exp it's expanded or like um, not really expanded. It's more like um, I think about it kind of like Tron. It's not baked. It's certainly not baked at all. It's not buzzed. It's not enlightened. That's too. 
Indica does, but I don't smoke indica. I smoke sativa. It's a bit peppy. Mm. Medicated. I actually... Medicated, I think... No. But yes, I think that's the closest thing. Dabs. No, I don't... I, I can't do that. It, tranquility. Chill. It's not really chill. Pregnant. I'm going to say pregnant. I'm going to say pregnant because... um. No, because it, <clears throat> no, I had a couple of puffs earlier, but, um, your bang piece saved, yeah, my bang piece saves your life and my life. What happened to Barb? She passed, I don't even know what Harambe is, and I'm, I'm going to choose to embrace this thing to keep me separated from the generation, although maybe it's not generational, let me just look it up, what is Harambe? Boring, 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 it's Pokemon, I should have known, mm-hmm. Pregnant with the magic. No, pregnant because it doesn't give you anything that you don't already have. Like it's um, it's like a cognitive enhancer, but I can't say that because that sounds fucking pretentious and it's way too long. Prego and weed. Prego and wacky weed. Or um, mm. I don't know. I just found this hat in the kitchen. A lot of hats. A lot of different hats to wear. No, I'm not excited for American Horror Story because if anything, if if we are able to learn from the mistakes of the past in regard to American Horror Story, we will know that those mistakes will continue. <laughs> no, I don't like dabbing. It seems it's too um no. Don't like it. Um if you guys talk about Harambe, I'm I'm gonna get out of here. This is just I don't not like Pokemon, but I just I don't know him. It's a gorilla, okay. Alright. So we talked about, so lying, not telling the truth. You can't handle the truth. Lies, lies, lies to Manelli. Um, lies, lies, lies. Tell a fucking lie. Um, you know, if you're not telling a lie, then you are not being a person. Um, when was the last time you lied to someone? Was it a white lie or was it a very uh, black lie? And is, is that, is that uh, racist? Um, Oh, so there's a really common expression that's like, um, it's a really common expression that's really a cliche um, in, within recovery groups that, uh, how, how can you tell that um, a drug addict is telling a lie? His lips are moving, which means that they're always lying. And that's, you know, that's kind of true. Um, so... When you're in active addiction or just really, you know, when the struggle is very, very real and people don't trust you for whatever reason, oh, sometimes you have to lie. But I haven't had to lie. I don't I haven't had to lie in a really, really long time, except um, I couldn't tell the truth in a way that I wanted to because I didn't think it was effective. I know ugh, I'm falling asleep with this, too. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to continue on the season eight tour. Because we have another leg, I will. That I will. Um, I will definitely let you know. So um, it's not the extended truth, you know, because it's like, I don't know. That's so I, for I got a very tiny, tiny taste of how, oh, of how politicians have to craft their um, community. How they have to like whittle down in the moment their communication skills. Um, you know, it's like they have to. You have to be so aware of your of your language and how it's going to be interpreted that eventually um oh it was great uh, could you be addicted to lying no because a lying supports an addiction i believe i don't know maybe a compulsive liar it's a behavior that certainly becomes um uh, can become um compulsive pathological liar yeah yeah who's a pathological liar and why did they lie two lies and oh two lies and a truth about all stars okay Two lies and a truth about all stars. Two. Not a spoiler. Um, that at the end, the finalists all filmed separate endings in which each one was crowned the winner. That is number one. Number two is there was a man on set. And we did not know who he was or why he was there. And he was, um, he was carrying something in his underpants. 
and it was not good. Number three, crying will tell the truth and crying will further the agenda of someone's will, which may or, not, which may, or may not be connected to that truth. Also, number four, packing tape is useful when you're moving. Okay, so then, um, uh, let's see. Bush did 9-11, and it happened right under here. Um, let's see. Yeah, so lies, vicious rumors. Oh, rumors are fun. I haven't, um, when you have no secrets, there's also another thing when you have no secrets. It's wonderful. Yeah, it's wonderful. There's no, um, I had to, um, so for the longest time I had to lie to, uh, an employer. Right, I had to. I was uh, managing this costume shop uh, in town for a long time, and uh, so at the end of it, um, for I had to, I had to tell my boss that I had to tell him some truth. I had to spill the tea in a way that was. I had my individual cup of tea, right, and I gave him his cup of tea, and I had we had to. I had to spill those too, but then. I had to coordinate a tea truck to come around the corner and literally tip itself over into the street. And this was, um, I had to tell him that I stole about approximately $18,500 from him um, through a series of um, scams, schemes, and machinations ranging from underground funding of, um, of pageant uh, packaged materials, um, assorted wigs, shoes and other merchandise and of course cold hard cash cold hard cash cash is king the king is a queen and the queen is um rupaul so um yeah that was a that was a hard uh tea spilling moment right because yeah it was a very boston tea it was a very it was very locally it was a great local reference because the boston tea party was not only about telling the truth it was about um creating a ruckus and about making amends um, so that was tough but guess what uh, guess what it you know it worked out it worked out well I actually paid him back all the money it only took me about 25 years um, I think I did it in two years and it was uh, financially liberating so that was a truth that I was not willing to acknowledge because I didn't think I thought to myself how in the hell am I gonna be able to do that when I'm dirt poor how am I going to pay back the stolen money without any stolen money? Right, Barbara? How do you do it? I have to earn the money? Well, I did, and it was, um, it was very rewarding. So I encourage you to, um, if, if you do steal and lie and cheat, you know, do it well. You know, I do it well, because the only thing worse than um, a, a, you know, a thief, a liar, and a, a cheater is somebody who does it really bad and gets caught right away. Because if you, if you can do it and... Um, and you know, do it well. Later on, you have the comfort of uh, coming clean when, you know, when it's convenient for your career <laughs> um, or your family, you know. So um, do it on your terms, you know, and that's the way. So I did get a fortune in my cookie. It says this. Can you read it? Success. I'll read it for you. Success is at your fingertips. Remain persistent. Let's look up persistent in the dictionary, because I forgot what that means. Just kidding. Continuing firmly or obstinately in a course of action in spite of difficulty or opposition. Now, they could be talking about that, uh, that family of five who moved into the basement and won't let me do my laundry. Or, or something bigger, right? Um, continuing to exist or endure over a long, prolonged period. Um, I've always wanted to become an expert hula hooper, so I think I'm gonna, this is all the info that I need to stay the course and <clears throat> hula hoop my way into not only core strength, but a vision of myself that is satisfying as a legacy and a reality for my children. Okay. Uh, lies. Lies. But I stayed in, oh, I stayed at a nudist place. So it was a beautiful, it was the Grand Resort and hotel spa in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So it's a gay male resort, and um, it's a beautiful little place, and half of the um, outside area by the hot tub 
is um, clothing optional. Nudity. Nudity. Nakedness. Not being clothed. Not having any clothes on. Um, works in Florida because it's hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. It is little hell. Humidity is um, being choked. You're being choked at all times. It's not erotic at all because you're not doing it yourself. Um, it is really bad. But the, um, the, the nudity provided a way for us not only just to feel bad about ourselves and to, to notice that shame and fear in other people's eyes, um, it, was, uh, it was like, oh, okay. It's an interesting sensation to have the, the, the warm air on your you know, ball sack. Um, and, but the place offered, um, it felt very safe, but ew, it's, it's, it's like more psychological safety because, um, there were not a lot of people around and, uh, humility and humidity. Oh, stop it. Stop it. I don't, what are you talking about? Shirt? Sure, I don't know. Um, what, what shirt? So people do it obviously to tan, right? Because they avoid tan lines. Now you got to put a little Crisco on your dingling, or not Crisco, but a little something, a little uh, maybe a little zinc. Maybe you wrap it up in a little uh, napkin that you're dingling, so it doesn't get burned. If you have, uh, if you're fair skin like me, your genitalia is at super duper risk of getting burned, burned to a crisp, and that's not nice, and that'll suck. So um, you know, make sure you put a lot of sunscreen on your dingling. And, um, yeah, uh, we're talking about Crisco on your dingling. You don't want a melanoma on your taint, but your taint really doesn't get visible to the, your, your taint doesn't really come in contact to the sun. It's just your butt cheeks and your dingling, because we're talking about this men's resort. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, and so, but I'm on a schedule, I'm on a timeline, because we have so much to do. Um... And I think I'm gonna go back there. Right, right. I, I didn't get a tan. I've already working, I've already like put in overtime on lung cancer, so I'm gonna try to avoid skin cancer. Nevertheless, I am determined to stay the course and remain persistent in the face of all obstacles, whether they are regarded with, uh, regarded as pure evil or, 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 or just perhaps uh, reasonable Yeah. Um. Would you describe yourself as tenacious, persevering, determined, resolute, purposeful, or dogged, single-minded, tireless, indefatigable, patient, unflagging, untiring, insistent, importunate, 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 relentless, or unrelenting? I don't know. I'm a little wishy-washy. Um, so, this was a bit, uh, well, I don't think it was any, uh, Weirder than usual, right, Bob? Any questions? Oh, so, uh, I, yeah, I just want to make sure about the season eight thing. I'm sorry about that. That should have been made clearer. I don't know. I was a little bit unclear. I, I wasn't really in communication with the promoters, which that was, that's obviously just the thing. Um, but here's the thing. Right, the, you are, you know, if you were disappointed in not seeing me, then great. But I'm sure that Jinx and Ginger did a better job at hosting. I'm a bit weird. You know, I'm a bit weird. And that's the thing is I wasn't a... I wasn't able to um, kind of feel my oats in the way. When I'm, a ho when I'm hosting, I'm in control. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'll give you a lap dance. I'll, when I'm hosting a show, I, did a, uh, I hosted my own show called Perestroika back here in Boston for years. And I, you know, you have, uh, we had it ended at midnight. Started at 10.30, ended at midnight. That was pretty much the only, we had two rules. And don't kill any, you know, and then the, you know, don't kill anybody. Um, but, uh, so that was it. And then within that, I had a lot of freedom, but when I don't have freedom, darling, when I don't have freedom, I don't feel as though success is at my fingertips. I feel that something else is at my fingertips, little knives going underneath my fingernails and it really makes me crazy. So, um, I was disrespectful to authority, but guess what? That's drag. So, you know, I'll, uh, it's tomato, tomato, I agree to disagree. Um, you go this way, I go that way, and together we'll meet in the middle, probably never. But um, the point is, I love it. Coming back to the East Coast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, drag is punk. Oh wait, so this is funny. Drag is punk and mainstream. 
Drag is never having to say you're sorry. Drag is groveling on social media for forgiveness. <laughs> That's a rude joke. Okay. Thank you. My hairline is really good. Oh, one more thing. So, I am um, in the latest uh, video with me and Trixie, that uh, video, my wardrobe was a beautiful crop top and ch a cheerleader crop top that was given to me by an awesome person in, um, in da not Dallas, fuck, I can't remember where, I'm sorry. Um, I wore it, I mean, I think I wore it in Dallas for the first time. Awesome outfit. But I had, um, you could see my belly, my big, my stomach, and my shorts, and um, I, I suspected that people would get mad. And, um, and they did, or, and some did. And some, and the people who got mad, you don't get it. I, I'm not mad, I'm not mad that you're mad, but I'm, um, I have my ears, I, I noticed because I was, I was looking for it. And the people who are getting mad, um, are I think the same kind, the same kind of mechanism that says like, you can't wear that. Jeff, you came to work, you came to work in a, you have to wear a suit and you have to wear a tie and you, you know, they gotta be black or brown shoes. It's like so easy and reasonable. Why did you come to work in a burlap suit? I mean, yeah, it was still a suit, but it was made out of burlap, and there was a whole inch carved out of the, um, it was like a, a, a whole section, inch thick section, cut out of the, the leg of the pants. It didn't make any sense. So that's, we get mad at that. But darling, that's drag. If we use drag to simply reinforce the oppressive standards of beauty to which women must adhere, Guess what? We're not offering critique or insight of womanhood. We are part of the problem. So, that's the only thing. Actually, I feel good about that, so that's, that's a good way to end it. In the meantime, monkey's brains, though popular in Cantonese cuisine, are not often to be found in Washington, D.C.